this video, we'll learn how we can use JavaScript to count the number of characters we have in a text box. You can use this feature in uh, things like assessments uh, for short answers or long answers where you can set the limit of characters uh, and alert the user uh, if the character number increases. How do you achieve that? First, we need to create uh, a text entry or data entry field, uh, which uh, the user will uh, use to input the data. So I'll go to input data entry and I'll just drag across the screen and create a small box. I'll just format it. I use shape fill and then have it give a stroke. Now you can see uh, this is where the user will type in the answers or the data uh, from where we can use characters. After this, you will see that Storyline automatically creates a variable called text entry variable. You can also see that variable in the variables pane. I will just rename this to something simple, for example, text, and I'll click OK. Now I have the variable text. This variable will be used to extract the data uh, which is typed in by the user. Uh, I need another variable to input the data or to show how many characters um, are there in that text. So I'll use another variable and create it. Uh, go to variables pane, click the plus symbol, and then I will give the name as count. For the type, I will use as number and default value that it be zero and another variable is created, click OK. I'll insert another text box so that we can display how many um, characters are there in the text box. So I'll just have a small uh, text box, go to format and give it a stroke. There you go. I'll insert the variable here so that it can get referenced. Select the text box, go to insert, reference and select the variable counter. Now the, here the variable uh, text is there where, from which we extract the data and we set the count variable with the number of characters. Now we need a button so that we can trigger uh, the, the count action. So I'll just go and click create a button and I'll just create a small button and I'll give the name as count. I'm not doing too much designing here. Uh, now you select the count and let's add our JavaScript. So you click add trigger and you say execute JavaScript and let the script be as follows. The first thing is we need to reference the object model which the player has, the storyline player has because you can't otherwise access the elements uh, uh, in that object. So you need to extract it. Uh, I'll use the let syntax. I can use var but now with the ES6 format we uh, the, the new syntax of var is let. So I'll say let um, player is equal to the format um, or the syntax is get player. Now I have the player um, object in this player variable. So let me extract the variables from um, this player object. So I will use another variable, say let text one is equal to player dot. The syntax is get var. And I will type in uh, single quotes. I'll type in the variable I need to extract, which we defined as text. So now text one is um, containing the text reference or the text variable. I need the count. So I'll use the length property. I can create another variable, um, say let count one is equal to text one dot length. With this count one now has the characters, uh, number of characters from text one that length and all which is remaining is to set the count variable which you created uh, and give that the value of count one. So the syntax is player dot set var. Now instead of get var, it is set var because I'm setting a variable. Which variable I want to select? Um, I will select the count comma and what do I have to assign? I have to assign count one. There you go. So now I have um, assigned the count variable we created in the beginning of the video uh, and the value we have assigned is count one which has the reference of text one dot length and let me click OK, OK, and we have to publish it. We cannot do preview because um, JavaScript does not run in preview mode. So I have to click publish and let's see how it works. Let's view the project. So now I have the type, your text here, um, data entry field. I have the button and I have the text box which will show me the number of characters. So let me just try it here. I'll type um, exam and I should see four. So I'll click count and you see I see four here. Let me say another thing called exam is difficult count, you can see it's 17 characters. So that's how you can use JavaScript to count the number of characters. I'll be putting in more videos for, um, as to how we can embed JavaScript to, to come up with different uh, functionalities um, in Storyline and make our jobs easy. Thank you.